Hi there, today I wanted to show you how to create a sunset flow. Sunset flow is the last chance in re-engaging your subscribers before suppressing them. Unlike winback flow that is usually sent to people who placed an order with you before but they haven't placed an order since, sunset flow is not dependent on previous purchases and is sent to any unengaged subscriber who signed up for your list at some point and then they did not open or click any of your emails since then. So the goal of this sunset flow is to help you maintain a clean list and make sure that you are sending to your engaged subscribers who actually want to receive emails from you, ensuring good deliverability and ensuring that your emails land in the inbox of your customers who actually want to receive your emails. In order to set up a sunset flow, you will follow four steps. First of all, you will need to set up a flow trigger. A flow trigger would be a segment of unengaged subscribers who signed up at some point and who has not opened or clicked any of your emails in the last X number of days. So that X would depend on the repurchase rate for your brand. For example, if you are selling bras, maybe a woman doesn't need that many bras. Six months is when you want to try sending this flow. For this example, and I would say for most brands, somewhere between 120 and 180 is a good to start trying to re-engage your customers. We will go with 120 days in this example. Second step is to create your flow. You want to offer your biggest discount, you want to tell them that you will unsubscribe them or they can unsubscribe themselves because you don't want to be sending emails that they don't want. And if at any point recipients open or click a mail or place an order, they will exit the flow and they will be moved to your regular engaged segment. So that way you're not getting rid of anybody who is actually interested in your email still. Next, you will create a segment to suppress the people that did not open any emails of the sunset flow and then you will make sure to exclude and suppress that segment. So now this is kind of overview, now let's go into details into how to build all of this in Clavio. First of all, we need to set up a flow trigger. Flow trigger in this case would be a sunset segment. You want to take somebody who has been on your list for a while now, so they've been on your list at least 120 days, they have not opened a single email in 120 days, and they did not click an email in 120 days, and they did receive a bunch of emails. So here I am using 20, just because this specific brand is sending a lot of emails, I would say five, five emails a week at least. If you're sending once per month, for example, you can go with five. If you're sending twice, you can do more like 10, big depending on the frequency of your sends. 10 is a standard one. And then they did open email at least once over all time, and they did click email at least once over all time. And they are not suppressed yet. You will create your segment, wait for it to collect some people. And the next step that you will do is you will actually go to Flow's library you will click on create flow and you will create from scratch. You will call it sunset flow. You will now have to set up your trigger. Your trigger would be a segment and it will be the segment that you just created. Next, you want to include flow filters. As I have mentioned, anybody who opens or clicks email at this point, they will need to exit the flow. So what someone has done or not done, opened email at least once since starting this flow and what someone has done or not done clicked email zero times since starting this flow and placed order zero times since starting this flow and checkout started zero times since starting this flow what the end connector here does it makes sure that they did not do any of those, so all of those conditions have to be met for them to stay in this flow. So that way if they place an order, they exit, or if they click email, they exit. Go ahead and save this. Now you will need to build your content. 
one to three emails is usually enough. I would say two to the sweet spot. We had a time delay one day at 8 a.m. So whatever you know is a good send in time for you. Turn off the smart send. And let's configure the content. Fill your subject line preview. You can use the subject line assistant here. Write your prompts, whatever is the message that you want to communicate here. The idea is that we want to tell customers that we miss them. Ready for a union, we are get a special offer. You, of course, can use a drag and drop editor and create some beautiful email. You don't really need all the fancy designs. You can simply go with the text only email. And you will simply need to write your content here. Make sure to add fallback name in case you don't have the name of your customer. So I will use friend. You can use something that is more relevant to your brand. And we want to write a piece of copy here saying that we miss them. It's been a while since they opened any of our emails and we were wondering if they're still interested. And here is a discount if they want to shop and add some kind of urgency on the discount. I've put together an example of the copy that you can use. A personal from the founder. Very simple. Make sure to include your discount code some kind of urgency on the code and a link to your website. Whenever you're sending the plain text email, make sure there is always a link where you want to send them. And you can also give them an option to unsubscribe. In order to do that, you will just need to grab this tag from Clavio and enter your text. And this is it. Your email is ready. If you want to make any updates, you can still update the phones, the colors here. If you want to add some kind of GIF, maybe some kind of fun, miss you GIF that's on brand for you. And you can preview this email. This is how it will look like. You have some links here. And you can save the content whenever it's ready. Oh yes, and by the way, the preview text won't be available for the plain text emails, so this is not going to show, so don't worry about the preview text. All you need here is the subject line. Your email is ready. The next thing that you will need to do is finish building your flow. Another day, send another email. You can try a different time. For example, let's do 3 p.m. Whatever you know works best for your brand. Turn off your smart sending. Insert the content here. You want to remind them about the discount. You want to offer them to unsubscribe. And you want to let them know that you will unsubscribe them if they don't, if they don't engage pretty much. Very possible that they will not open even any of those emails. And the purpose is just to kind of check on them without real expectation that they will open any emails. And it is okay. It is natural that some contacts will be unengaged from your brand at some point. So this is totally fine. We just want to kind of like check on them one last time. That's why I prefer not to put too much design effort in the sunset flow and keep it very, very, very simple. The next thing that you will do is you will add another time delay. Let's give them about five days. And this doesn't really matter. And you will update profile property here. You will create a new property that you will call unengaged. I'll engage true and you will save this. What this is going to do is when somebody goes through this flow and they don't do any of those things that we've mentioned here, they will finish the flow and they will get to this profile property update. What will happen is that anybody who did not engage with those emails from the sunset flow, they will get a new profile property attached to their profile. This is done so that you can identify those people who actually got that property, who are unengaged with your emails, so that you can exclude them from your campaigns and so that you can suppress them. 
If you are already using this for something else, maybe you are already doing something that gives them this property, create a different property, maybe call it sunset unengaged is true. So this is just an example of what you can call this profile property. So if you don't have this property yet, you will not have it available in your segment definitions. And let me show you what I mean by that. In order to create this segment that you want to exclude and suppress, you will have to create a new segment. You will call it sunset unengaged. You will do properties about someone unengaged. You will do the same type as you're using in your flow. So that's Boolean in my case is true. Let's add another one. Can receive email marketing and you will create a segment. This will pull all of the people who went through the sunset flow. They are not suppressed. They're still on your newsletter list and they did not engage with your sunset flow emails. If you're just setting this up, you will not have this property that you have just created for your flow. You will not have it in options for the properties unless somebody has this property already. So you can either wait for somebody to actually go through this flow and then create the segment and then exclude, or there is a little work around it. I have my profile. I can add a custom property. Yeah, I can call it unengaged. I already have it available, but you know what I mean? You can create a brand new unengaged and true. So this is what you will do. Make sure that all of your upper lower cases are matching with the property that you used in your sunset flow. And then you will add this profile property, give it some time, and you will be able to see this profile in your segment that you want to exclude and suppress. Okay, so this should be pretty straightforward. Next thing that you will do is you need to add past profiles after you actually set it live and you want to add those past profiles at the beginning to make sure that they are entering the flow from the beginning. That would make sense, right? So that they actually go through the whole thing and then if they don't engage, you want to set unengaged as true. So what this will do is all those profiles won't have to wait for 120 days to go to this flow and they will start going to it immediately. That's pretty much it. What we did, we created a flow trigger. So we have our sunset flow segment that triggers the sunset flow. We created a flow with all the flow filters. We created the unengaged segment that you want to suppress on a regular basis and exclude from your campaigns to ensure that deliverability. So this is what the sunset flow does for you. It helps you get rid of profiles that you are paying for in Klaviyo, but that are not interested in your brand any longer. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was a good explanation for you on how to create a sunset flow, but don't hesitate to reach out if you have any additional questions.